Let's have a podcast. Let's have a let's have a podcast today. We're rocking and roll. Let me see that. Was it hands in the air, Joey D? Hands in the air. Hands in the air. Hands in the air. Now, let's- I mean, we can't we can't just brush past the fact of what what really transpired today though it has to we have to we have to account for it because i have people now they're like please tell me you didn't chop the original videos from the you know the the original takes from trying to get on the podcast in the first place those are long gone unfortunately you know uh, all you got sad. is that's my bad. all you got is the mr roboto story which by the way is doing doing big things the mr <laughs> I, I was actually i was annoyed i usually i'm not annoyed with it I no was, i could tell enough is enough i mean it's just it's crazy enough is enough what did you fight. what did you do to get it fixed well spectrum said according to mikey v that it needed a bullet that they had to fire a bullet. So they said, they told Bob it needed a reboot on their end, which means to me, like sometimes they have to send, they call it in the industry, they call it a bullet. And they send out like a signal basically that, I don't know how, but it like reboots the whole system on their end, on their back end. Which I mean, that shouldn't happen. I mean, now this is the podcast is one thing, but could you fucking imagine if you're a person who, this is why I don't stream, right? I do stream when I have to, but this is why I'm a hardwired cable person and I have four cable boxes and people think that's fucking crazy because if this was like a Yankee playoff game, if this was, if this was Ohio state against Michigan, if this was bears against Packers and this happened to me before kickoff, I would fucking kill somebody. I would literally, (laughs) I'd strangle somebody. I'd punch a hole through my wall. I would go nuts. I will never stream until they can fix. You have no other choice. No, if they give me no other choice. I'll I'll start streaming if I have no other choice. Right, I stream the Jake Paul fight. But but the problem is, some did stuff you, you have did to. You buy I the that. fight, Joey D. I streamed it. You didn't buy the fight. No, I streamed it. You just Believe buy it. Fought. Would you just do it the right way? You got the money to be able to do it the right way. Why well, I don't need to support Jake Paul. But just I, I, that, I could get behind that mission just, statement. Just this guy's an that. obnoxious piece of shit. I don't. I, I don't need to. I don't need to support this guy. I'd rather stream. Wow. If I was, no, if it was somebody it, nominal, why not? Then yeah, sure, why not? But I'm not spending eighty bucks. And there's a five cards before. I don't even know who the fuck is fighting. Now I, I'll say this though: I did buy the Tommy Fury fight because I knew Fury would beat him. So that's why I purchased that one because I knew he was going to lose and I wanted to see that in crisp, clear 4K high definition. Look, but I way, agree, this fight was a fix. Oh, it was he ridiculous. Didn't even, well, no, I he mean, it, didn't even it, throw it, a punch. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't a fix. It was just that Diaz isn't a fight. I mean, he's not a boxer. So you knew in the first 30 seconds. Oh, by the way, Mikey, I don't disagree at all. I mean, it was. I know you don't. I know you don't. Even go but into Bob, it. you bet on Diaz. That we will get into. Yeah, that that I wait, 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 wait. You bet a bag. You bet a bag. You don't know what I. I didn't bet a bag. I didn't bet a bag. Now you didn't come up with that yourself. Somebody told you to do that. (laughs) I said to you guys that I have never, I have never been so mad at myself about a bet that I put it. You talk about just throwing money down the drain. Told us earlier in the day Paul was going to win in two, three rounds. I know. I know. I, I was so so. Pissed. Who? Somebody flipped. <laughs> who flipped? <laughs> out, who flipped you? Who His flipped dad. You? His, His dad. dad. His saying, dad. I wish it was, Mike. I wish it was. That's what pissed. I wish I could point the finger somewhere. I knew that Paul was going to win. I was saying that. Then that why he, would you? Can I get into it, Joe? That's what I'm trying to get into. It. it I knew that he was going to win. I wanted to see Diaz win so bad that I couldn't <laughs> process <laughs> putting money on Jake Paul. I couldn't process it, even though I know. So rather than just watch the fight and enjoy it, I couldn't do that. So it's the dumbest bet in in history. I did Nate Diaz to win the fight, and then I did Jake Paul to knock him out in either the third. Oh, no. Yeah, it was so bad, bro. <laughs> It was so wow. I was so mad at myself. I I really really was. Yeah, these fights are fi- this they're okay. Like you said, they're not fixed technically, but they are because he's fighting. He's boxing non-boxers. That's as bad as it gets. It was a tough scene, right? It yeah. was terrible. And you knew thirty seconds into it that that <laughs> Diaz had no shot. I mean, there was just no chance. But but the fact you, that you bet all I know. to knock him out. I know. He has to win is one of the sickest. one of the counterproductive bets I've ever heard. Well, Bob's probably figuring the KO plays 
pays plus money, very minimal plus money, but it pays plus money. And obviously Diaz is plus money. So he's like, ah, the, I, I, I pick the, the round. There's some he, pretzel logic to it, but I do get the betting. The it had to pay a lot. Out. If you pick a single round to for him to knock out, that's that's, got, that's the only way you can bet him in these way. fights, though, because you can't take a money line because you got to lay 400 to win 100 yeah, or whatever yeah, the juice outrageous. was. You can't. So the, the, the thing that I've realized, UFC and boxing, the best bet that you could do and the best value is to do the knockout in a specific round because yeah. the odds you get for that are great. But I think Jet may have a video of me throwing a fit. I, I threw a fit in my living room, not because the way the outcome was, because I was so stupid to do that, that I knew Jake Paul was going to win. Yet I bet the other side just because I didn't want to see Paul win the fight. Now, with that being said, though, where I was getting into with the Fury fight, okay, you can't watch that fight, though, Mikey. And, and would you agree that Fury is, is a real boxer? Tommy Fury is is a is a a mid card boxer. He's a he's a mid card. He's not a premier. He's not a main event. But he's boxer. a professional. But he's a professional. He's a professional. A hundred percent. He's a professional real boxer. And one hundred percent. Before you have to say it, because I know what you're going to say. A hundred percent. Paul put up a, a a decent showing against him. He did. Okay. He did. But the fact of the matter is, is that if Paul starts boxing real boxers, he's going to lose a lot of his luster because he's not going to win every fight. His billing right now is that he's only lost one fight, whatever it is, and he just beats up these these marquee names and he brings in these washed up marquee names. And I don't mean washed up, no disrespect to Nate Diaz. I just mean they're they're retired out of their respective sport and now they're cross they're crossing over into a sport that they didn't grow up uh, doing they didn't grow up training in and and they have the marquee headline name and that's what Paul wants and it's a money making scheme and God bless him because Diaz got a good payday so I'm sure Diaz is is fine with it and they're they're just playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers and I respect that. But what I don't respect is Jake Paul as a boxer yet because he imagine hasn't him fighting a guy like Ryan Garcia, he would get destroyed. Like, could you imagine if he fought like Triple G or Canelo Alvarez? Oh. I mean, like he would get fucking, would be, he would get killed. He'd but get I killed. just think it. I just think what he's doing is is I think it's impressive. I really don't. Of I mean, course, it's impressive. It's a money maker. He's making a shit ton of money. It's, you know it's thing too? He doesn't mind being the villain. Too. I mean, everybody was loves being the villain for Diaz. He doesn't mind being. Loves it. Yeah, he really does. It's he really better does. for it's better for his brand and and the rate. I mean, it's better for for buys. I'm sure and the brand. If his is nickname the is a problem child, what do we? I mean, of course he is. I no didn't even know that. That, that. That's that, you didn't know that. You didn't know that that was that was his thing, Mikey. I don't. I don't follow these clowns. Bob. And then on the other. <laughs> <on the phone. laughs> Nate Diaz, I mean, this guy, you could you could legitimately, if you gave me a shot with a shovel to his face and you put a shovel to his face, I do not think that he would go down. He doesn't go down. It's a, I mean, yeah. he's canvas, but he's just tough as nail. I've never what seen anything the, like it. Well, if the old man from Home Alone 1 hit him in the head with a shovel. Oh, let's down. get you home. Old man Marley. Yeah, old man Marley. Yeah. This guy doesn't go down. <laughs> it's so good. Thank God Joe got the reference because there was no shot Bob was nah. going to get that reference. No, never. Now, Bob, you can't tell me you didn't watch Home Alone as a kid. Home Alone, yeah. McCall okay. Yeah. And by the way, I think the top five that we're doing today is terrific. It's a good top five. Very good top five. I yeah, agree. I think it's I, 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 I think it's good. Joey D bounced back. It's a Joey D top five. His original one, the energy drink one, I, I had no. What am well, I going to no, I said top five cookies is a great one. Top, yeah, we already we did. did that. We did cookies. I didn't know we did cookies. I thought we, we did, did cakes. But no, energy did drinks, I, I don't think I could give you five energy drinks. No? Yeah. I, just, I, I, just, I just thought energy drinks was going to be a bizarre, <laughs> a bizarre Celsius, play. Celsius Monster, C4. Red yeah. Bull. I don't know. Red, I don't, Red, Red Bull. Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull is the OG. Something, something that was his, me and Joe were talking about it, that was hysterical. On the last podcast, it was so, and I didn't even realize it till people were putting in the comments, and then I went back and I looked at it. It's one of the funniest fucking things. Wow. I'm telling Joe had Celsius is done that you know Joe's. Oh, like, I asked for a can. Yeah. I asked for a fucking can, Mikey V. 
This guy's got three cases sitting in one the back. One ticket, one ticket. I said to him, I said, Bob, it looks like you got a storage in case there's, you know, in case LA has a huge earthquake or something that you still have Celsius to last you for a month's supply, even if you're buried under the rubble. There's a there's a stack of Celsius. Just <laughs> <laughs> it's a real sick and twisted thing. I couldn't oh. even get a can. Couldn't oh, get a can. Celsius. Celsius. The Celsius oh. is bad. Yeah, it, it was. Oh God! And that was a perfectly timed ad placement by Ticket. He had Very no well idea, done. too. I don't think so, he had any idea. No, both me and and I don't even think Ticket too. I don't even think Ticket purposely did that either. Maybe uh, he, uh, Ticket knows. He definitely. That. It went right from you saying you were, you weren't involved with Celsius to an ad read with five stacks of Celsius behind your head. A hundred percent. hundred percent. Ticket did on purpose. Yes, a hundred percent. Yeah, all right. I guess. Yeah, I didn't give him enough credit. What a scumbag! <laughs> what an absolute scumbag. Um, all right, boys. We oh, by the way, this is bad. Rayos is closing, by the way, Hollywood. Which is why Bob's finally moving to Jupiter. <laughs> what happened? They're not doing business over there. So I guess this- Johnny Rose be thinking people in the seats. <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with that. The owners can't get along, apparently, but I didn't know the owner told me that they're closing and I didn't know that they hadn't told their employees yet. Oh no. This is bad, man. This is really, really bad. So the server came over to us. Oh so, Jesus. He just Bob just told him that he's out of a job. <laughs> Yo, this guy's got a family to feed. It's he's got one food on the table. Bob yeah, I just believe fucking... I did. I had no I in, my, in in fairness to me, they didn't tell me not to say anything. So I said, man, we got to really make the most of this month here. <laughs> he was probably like, "What do you mean? What are you he talking about?" At me, he had Joe. You know the the um old school Italian guy we got the first time. He's a nice guy, nicest guy. I love him. He looked at me, and then he didn't really understand it. And then when he picked up the plates, you saw him kind of processing it. So he goes back into the kitchen, and then the bar head bartender came over to me and go, "Just so you know, they don't know yet." Now they're going to know. <laughs> Let me tell you, man. Bob it's spilled true. the beans. <laughs> Bobby Bean Spiller. A little premature. A little premature there, Robert. <laughs> oh, oh, this guy, man. I, I, bad, I, that, man. That, that is that is a soul-crushing news break to that to that guy. 100%. It's sad. Yeah, re- I don't- yeah, now he's got to go find a new job, Bob. I Let me tell you, I over-tipped like you wouldn't believe. I, I felt so, so bad. I really did. <laughs> and to watch his face as he took the plates away, I mean, it was... <laughs> It was terrible. <laughs> but for Bob to say, you know, that, you know, to, to my credit, I, I didn't know that they didn't want me to tell anybody. <laughs> he says, whoa, whoa, but, but wouldn't you think that you if they make the most of this month, by the way, that's I will I, say, I asked the same server, I said, well, do you guys, do you guys have a shirt, you know, that I could wear? Too? Oh, my. Double down, God. I got the Rayo's Hollywood shirt. So now you got Hollywood and you got East Harlem. You're you're good yeah, to go. That, but that East Harlem one is always going to sit there from that. Yeah. And apparently they're doing one in Miami. But the thing with the Miami one, it's going to be so exclusive to where it's not that homey feel where you could just walk in. Uh, Bob will have the exclusivity. He'll, uh-huh. have, He'll have a table there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. By the way, I don't know about that. I ain't getting into East Harlem without Nikki Diamonds. Folks, our next sponsor is a sponsor that I just so happen to use and take every single day, a product that I use and take every single day, Athletic Greens. You cannot go wrong when you're taking Athletic Greens. I wanted better mental health, physical health, gut health, and that is exactly what Athletic Greens does. You cannot go wrong when you go Athletic Greens. With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you are absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. You can't go wrong. It starts your day right. I do it. I take one scoop of the Athletic Greens, down it with the water, and I am good to go. Mentally, I feel great. Physically, I feel great. After a workout, I use it, and it is absolutely terrific. Now, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash dumb. 
dumb. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. Do it with Athletic Greens. You can't go wrong. Diamonds, not by yet. the way. I, I don't know where Diamonds is, by the way. Oh, I this is gonna I start. have this not is heard from Diamonds in a, in, a, in a hot minute. And I said to Mikey V, I said to, yesterday, I said, have you heard from him? He said, no, I haven't. And I've been messaging him back and forth. You know what's really scary? You know when you have a number that messages you and it goes the blue bubble, right? It's yeah. a I it's an iPhone message. Yeah. Well, when I started messaging a few days ago after not hearing from him, when it went, now it went green. Bubbles. It's a problem, dude. And I don't know where he is. I can't get a hold of him. I just want to make sure he's alive. He was complaining about his heart before all this shit. I don't know what's going on. I felt a little bit better. Mikey V said he was coming out of the manicure last week. That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, were you serious about that, Mikey V? Sat and finish. Mikey yeah, V. I mean, listen. Mikey v. <laughs> Mikey v. Sat and finish. I've I've gotten manicures with <laughs> Nikki Diamond. I mean, you, know, you get a little sat and finish on the nails. You know, you get your cuticles taken care of. That's a gentleman move. You know, it's, uh, it's another imagine. level of. of, so, of do you feel weird going in there? Is it a no, weird? No, not at all. Thing? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> is it like a little Korean place or something yeah, like that? Yeah, or? yeah, they take care of it real good. <laughs> Mikey, I, I would I, pay money to see Nikki Diamonds getting a manicure. Man. I mean, oh, he goes, he goes man. religiously. I mean, you know, he's like he, how often? All right, once a week, I would say. Once a week, <laughs> once every other week. Serious? Yeah, dead serious. Dead Mike, serious. You do me a favor. Mm-hmm. A A for a welfare check, and B just to hear it. Would you be able to call? Him? Yeah, I could call him. I don't know if he's gonna answer. <laughs> Good luck, man. I can't get a hold of this guy. Mikey V might have a better chance, but I just want to know he's all right. The fact that he's too. getting a manicure, it at least makes me feel a little bit, a little bit secure. But like he was complaining about his heart like crazy, Bob, like two weeks ago that he wasn't gonna be with us much longer. And then the guy just ghosts. I haven't heard from him. He talks. He talks like he's gonna die any day. And it's 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 <laughs> I, I don't scary. Like it. he's, scary. He told All me right, let me switch over to the to the speakers here. Hold Good on. for you, Mikey. Good awareness. Wow. I hope he answers, man. I really do. I I I you gotta tell you him he's on the brilliantly dumb show. Can yeah. you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I almost think you, yeah, actually, yeah, you tell him. You gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta tell him. <laughs> I'm so excited. For Please answer. I can't Please. hear it. Mikey, we can't hear it. Is it ringing? Yeah. It's ringing. You hear it? Oh, no. Can now I can hear it. Automated, see automated voice messages. That's concerning, man. I, I tell you what, Mike, you know, seriously, are you concerned that we can't find Nikki Diamonds? Uh, no, no, well, because Mikey V says he's not, but I am concerned. There, he goes through these periods where he just falls off the face of the earth for some time. That's just the way he goes. That's just that's just it. Well, he's never done that since I've known him. Yeah, he's I mean, never... it's, well, I I mean, listen, I'm I I mean. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna want to talk to him. I'm gonna want to talk to him. If, uh, yeah, if, I'm gonna want to talk to him. I mean, listen, if you can even get a hold of him, it's yeah, it's concerning. It's it concerning is. a little. Bit. Mikey, <laughs> if you're concerned, if you're concerned, I'm concerned. If we don't hear from Nikki Diamonds by the time Notre Dame kicks off Week One, oh, oh that's ridiculous. Bob, See, by the way, by the way, why is that? By the way, it's a month away, Bob. It's over a month away. That's by the way, oh, 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 no, when Notre Dame Week One for that, yeah, no, yeah, no, that's like three weeks. You'll be fine. Okay. But Bob, by the way, he deleted his Instagram too. He's he no does that all the time. Yeah, yeah, but that's normal. He he goes on and off every single week. By the way, yes, yes, yeah. Yes. That that part to me is is not crazy. I mean, <laughs> question to you. Are you taking this donut challenge? How serious are you taking this donut challenge? Come uh, breezy, is that a callback from Nikki Diamonds or no? Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, okay. I was uh, just I was really, listening. To what, I was listening to what you were saying. Oh, I, I would love him to call back. Are you taking the donut challenge? Because a lot of people have messaged me about the donut challenge. Are you taking the donut challenge as seriously as you took the hamburger challenge? Yeah, a dozen donuts in under under five minutes. I'm going to do what? Krispy Kremes. I'm going to get a, a case of Krispy Kremes. Joe, which ones are you doing? Do you think it should be an assortment pack, Joey D? 
No, I think he can choose what he wants. I I have no issue with that. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. Bob, Bob, by the way, to Mikey, me to the fucking Lions. Bob, Mikey Bob, V, I gotta say, by back. the way, I've had your back the last few weeks, Mikey V. I've had your back. In regards to what, Joe? But what? Just in general, I've had your back on multiple occasions. I what? said, by in the way, in regards to what? In I said, the, what? I said. Last week, that if we had the the dedication and the work ethic of promoting this show as much oh, as you did, yeah. I've, been, I've been giving you some some action. Oh, Joe, I mean, listen, I'm going to say that this is not having my back. This is being a friend, is what we call this. Is being a, a good friend. Well, You're that, being that a good turned friend. on you real fast, Joey D. That's Am I just well, we're I, being I good friends? Time. Are we not? We are good friends, but I'm saying you best always used friends. to say that. Some he, would say best of friends. Yes, well, would I you, would love to see you more often, but that's well, neither that's here nor there. We have, we, so we have different is life he, paths. Is, right Mikey now, v, is Mikey V in your top five friends? He's in my top seven. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts. Well, Mikey V, I see you once a year, man. That hurts. That hurts. You're one of my closest friends. But I used to be in the top five, Bob. I was in the top five at one oh. point. Oh, Joe, can I'm we say he's Joe. an honorable mention? We should do we should do top five zero. friends. That no, would no, cause no, a lot no, of controversy. No, I want to friends. hear I want to hear your top seven best friends. You and Bears all ticket. Um, I would say Jet. Perez, not, you better put Jet in there and forget it. No, Jet and Perez. Uh, I go then. It's a toss up between Showtime and then obviously uh, Paul and Batista. Yeah, but Mikey V's top Who? ten. No question about it. These are my <laughs> hey, These are my no, no, But Joe, Joe, you just gave nine names there. When, when, when does Mikey V come into play? I said he's top ten. Oh, <laughs> now I'm top ten. I thought he's top v, six I, or seven. Yeah, I, I would say I would put you right on the on the on the hinge. Now I will say this. On I will the fringe, say this. on the fringe. On, on, on the fringe. On the fringe. I will say this. If Bob's Oh, I got diamonds. I got diamonds. Oh, 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 we got diamonds. We got diamonds. Hold on. We got diamonds. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Make sure we can hear him. Hello. Hello. Hey, it's me. Yes, I know that. Oh. I listen. I I, I got to be honest with you, okay? I I'm calling you live from recording the brilliantly dumb show right now. Oh, lovely! How is everybody? Well, frankly, they're very concerned about you. Oh my goodness! Well, <laughs> I mean, can I alleviate the concerns of? Uh, yes, of yes, 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 alleviate, please, yes, please. alleviate. Well, look, you know, life brings a lot of qualms and trials, and, and we, you know, we we go up, we go down. And, you know, with everything going on at the shop, I've been so busy. And, you know, I miss everybody tremendously. Uh, you know, I mean, it's not my fault that these guys have decided to move out to the Wild West. Uh, it's true. Yeah. I say that all the time also. Yep. All, also, we all know it's the land of the lost. I've been saying it for yeah. years. Yep. Yep. Um, you know, but I do miss everybody. You know, I'll go back on to the uh, Insta photo thing there. And uh, and and spend some time uh, with 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 everybody. You know, I, I I think of everybody often. Sometimes I want to log in. You know, but uh, you know what? I'll tell you. You want to know what grinds my gears? And this is this is this is the truth of it. And this was what, what was really upsetting. So I guess that 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 video of me uh, at at Nani there it went viral. Yeah, it did. It did. And, and you it said, you know, and it was it was funny. It was very funny. It was, a, <laughs> and I never knew like how I would handle a situation like that. I didn't know how I would feel about it, but it was fun, and yeah. I and I got some kicks out of it. But then you start reading like some of the comments from these. Posts, oh no! Hey, like. Bob, Bob is waving his hands saying you got to stay out of the comments. You can't read into the comments. Yeah, these people deserve to be dragged out into a, like a Nebraska cornfield and just put down like a <laughs> like old like old yeller. Yeah. <laughs> it's so rages and then I'm saying to myself like like asshole like we're fucking around. Ask him about how many how often he goes to get a manicure, and if that's a weird process. Bob wants to know how often do you get a manicure, and if it's an awkward process for you. Now, I said that I've been with you before, which I have, obviously, and that it's a thing that that's the next level of what a gentleman does to take care of his hands. But can you just go into uh, what your manicure schedule is like right now? Okay. Well, this is like a very easy one. I haven't shaved yet. 
Bucks. <laughs> An extraordinarily set, easy schedule, which is all ties in also to my hair. On Friday mornings, I go, I get a haircut. I go from the barber to the nail salon to where I receive a manicure and pedicure. <laughs> the following week, I do the same routine, only the pedicure is every other week. I get a manicure every six days. That's what I that thought, be, yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, you have to understand something. And this is why these guys, I mean, they, you know, they're, they're sitting around with their booger fingers. <laughs> I'm wearing fucking $8,000 on each finger. I mean, I wear fucking <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? That's These guys funny. are still picking their nose, eating chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, I didn't get the nickname for nothing, bro. I'm fucking covered head to toe in it, bro. <laughs> yeah, we know. Wait, Bob has one more. What, Bob? He can ask me whatever he wants. He can ask me whatever he wants. How much? How much does he tip his his barber? How much do you tip your barber? Oh, uh, yeah, the the haircuts are. I, I don't know. I don't even. Can I honestly? I don't know. I give forty dollars every single week. Okay. I have absolutely no idea how that much the haircut costs. Okay. I and I give every week. I give forty dollars. Okay. Holidays, I give fifty or sixty. You know. Um, <laughs> My, my, my barber now, how about this one? This would be good for everyone to know. My barber now and has been for quite some time, a woman. It's like they have their perfect little miniature wizard hands goes through <laughs> my hair. Cause you know, I have hair. Yeah. I mean, you got good people hair. You got a lot of hair. They see me. When I go out and I put product in my hair, I'm going to look the way I'm going to look. But we all know what it looks like when I'm home in my in my in in the Ginland. Yeah, you know what I mean. My <laughs> hair is flowing; it's luscious. Yep. So when she's putting her little miniature fingers and running her hands through my head, and then with the some of the hot shave and everything, there's look, bro. People laugh; they think it's all a big joke, but it's just like sex. There's nothing like a woman's touch, bro. You know what I mean? I don't want you know I don't want a guy jerking me off and I don't want a guy touching my head. And and I think that sums it up perfectly. I think that sums it up. Oh, he's so bad. Um, he's so bad. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Like if he cuts any of my stuff, you tell Bob too. None of my stuff should ever be cut. All right. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Okay. I'm 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 such a hot coal burning stove that everything I say is, is what it is. Yeah. What a and legend. Well, we're not going to cut any of it, and I appreciate the time, and I'm I'm just glad that you're all right. Ask him for final words, just for final words. Final, final words. Bob, Bob's yeah. looking for Bob's looking for a Jerry Springer esque final final word from you. I mean, look, I don't have nothing Jerry Springer esque. I would just say my it's my it's my usual thing that I want to say to the public, you know. And life is about you know fast women, you know faster horses. And, you know, staying in the game. All right. I love you. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. God bless you. All right. I love you. There you have it. Oh, he he's oh my back. God. So, so I think we could. I think we oh, could say that he's. So I think we could say he's okay. He's okay. Oh, oh I, I can, He just took back. over the podcast. He took over the podcast. I I think the title of the podcast should be Nikki Diamonds is back. Yeah, yeah, perfect. perfect. I think the title of the perfect. podcast. Is oh my god, that was perfect. electric. Perfect. Nikki Diamonds is back. This I is knew the manicure schedule. I told you once a week. That's what <laughs> that's what I thought. That's He's about right. Created um, and don't take this the wrong way because I'm right in there with you guys. It's a whack pack, and we've really created quite the whack pack. Under any different circumstances, if I could have Nikki Diamonds in with us weekly, not even oh. just doing I'm show, but just a part of what's going on like here. A segment, yeah. a segment. Yeah. I don't I, I'm really I, I think <laughs> uh, I think eventually we may get there. I think eventually we could get with there. Nikki Diamonds. I think eventually we could get there. I really do. I really I, do. Yeah. You think I, so? 
Well, the Wi-Fi has got to improve a little bit. Ah, the, oh. stu- the, the studio, <laughs> the studio needs to be uh, erected. Um, but I think things are trending in the right direction. I think things I'm are trending in the right direction. With Nikki Diamonds, a I segment on died. the Brilliant Dumb Pod, and I can his his video of him ordering that that meal, which is what he's referring to. So I'll have ticket run it. His video. Is now the guy who shared that who made it go viral. This big didn't even, didn't even tag him. Nothing. Nothing. No, no yeah. tags. That aggravates me to no end. No tags to where it oh. came from. He should have oh, at least tagged you, Bob. Don't I know? <laughs> well, you know what? You know, not everybody, be not everybody could be doing this. You know, not everybody could be. Mikey V. Was my... Do you know Mikey V? Here I we go. Think... <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Our Twitter, Here we go. I think in screenshots of Mikey V's tweet and posted it up, and he's busted my balls for not tagging him on top of. Oh, oh that was the uh, that was the Lord Farquaad from Shrek. Oh, when I'll I, have I'll take it. Put that up too. That was absolutely. Is that I a good one? Appreciate the tag. And by the way, in, in in fairness to you, Mikey V, tagging is currency. Followers is currency. So you are owed the right of a tag. Now, well, the, and now I wasn't talking about anything other than the fact that I thought the comedian who shared that should have at least tagged the show. Should have tagged you. Some kind of trace back to Nikki. That's not right. Yeah, in yeah, my it's opinion, common, it is. It's, it's common currency. Now I love Andrew Santino, and I'm sure he didn't think anything of it. So I, I agree. I but, agree. But yeah, what you're saying, what you're saying is right. I mean, tags are, especially in our business, it's a very, very, it's a you real. Talk thing. about mistagging. I had to watch Steve O tag Bob with I got the fucking head into the into the garage Steve-O door. Steve O shared the garage door video. Sure did. Did it. <laughs> and didn't Steve O posted yeah, it that, on his on his page and yeah. tagged Bob. Yeah, so that would drive that would drive me nuts. That would, well, Bob quickly monopolized that video. We know that. Bob hey, got Bob that, got the monopoly yeah, on that video. Know, it should have been quick. ticket. Should have been ticket. But 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 well, me and uh, yeah, technically technically it could have been ticket. Um, no, no, technically, <laughs> technically it was. It was property of the tip. <laughs> uh, technically, technically. <laughs> That's so sick. All right, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. We'll talk about anyway, this. But, the but donuts I, very I, quickly. I'm not guys, worried about the donut challenge. Not worried it, about it. Okay. When, it, when, it comes, when it pertains to you guys, last thing I'm taking, this group here is such a, I mean, there are tags flying left and right. This looks where if you yeah. guys don't tag, like if Joe puts up a post, on his Instagram with me, he doesn't tag me. He's never going to hear me say anything about that because this crew is, we're tagging left and right. It's a different yeah. thing. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It is. Well, technically, life. yeah. Technically, I just, I can't technically, get technically, yes. <laughs> it, it's taking its property technically. Technically. <laughs> Um, um, I'm not concerned. Yeah, about no. throwing a challenge, maybe. I'm not concerned. No, I think uh, I, I, especially if I could do Krispy Kremes, I'll, I, I think I'm going to beat it. I think I'll do it in under three minutes. What's not, Mikey? Whoa! Mikey. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm Mikey. just saying. Okay, fine. Three minutes. What Look, kind of donuts are we talking about? The Krispy Kremes, the Glaze, standard glazed. Krispy Kreme donut, glazed oh, donut. Last yeah. time you're talking about doing strawberry filled jelly ones. No, 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 no. I moved on to the Krispy cream Kremes. No, 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 no. I said that would be difficult, you know, if you're oh, doing like yeah. all yeah. cream filled donuts. The I mean, thing that's... about the donut challenge, after watching the hamburger challenge, he's going to eliminate six donuts faster than very fast. Can. So yeah. here's the thing is that I'm concerned the most, the thing I'm concerned the most with is when am I going to do this? If I do this Friday morning, the morning of the breezy, like before, like I'm, it's going to be a miserable day for me the rest of the day. I thought I, I almost mentioned that before we started, I was going to mention that to you. There's got to be huh. the move may be the Thursday night before at the, at the welcome oh, party or whatever. Welcome that party. may be the move that could really set things off with the, you know band. what? Yeah, yeah, at five iron, I think that would be the better. I think that would. And be we could have we could have water ready for you and secure Thank you an area. Joe. Thank you, he's, he's got Joe. Your this back. is another. This is another example of you uh, having my back again. Yeah, yeah. How I could do. he not have your back? You're in his top twenty five. Top fifteen. Yeah, uh, top twenty five. <laughs> yeah. Joe, let's say you get married for a tomorrow. guy. By the way, for a guy. Uh, by go ahead, Bob. Go ahead. You go get ahead. married tomorrow. Is Mikey V on the altar? And am I the best man? You would be a co-best man with Bears all. Okay, good. That's great to hear. Now let's get well, in. By the way, it would be tough because Anthony, would, my brother, would have to be involved too. But yeah, I think Anthony would be in, in, the, in the, obviously in the wedding party, but you and Bears all would be co-best men. So so Anthony, would uh, brother Ant would not get the nod. It's tough, man. No, I don't know how you no. do that. 
I would say I would say he would be in my wedding party, and it's it's just I would have you and Brian as co best man. Who do you give the speech to, me or Bearsall? You're both very terrific speakers. You're both terrific speakers. So I would think that you would tag team it together. Okay. Yeah, I I, I got I got the answer I needed. Now is is Mikey V on that altar? Well, no, because I can't old I can't do ten. He would be at the wedding. He'd be at the wedding. <laughs> I can oh, I, I can Jesus, only do five. Thanks. I can only do five guys on the on the wedding party. Why? Oh, no, that's not true. That's not. How many, how many you know how many groomsmen? You know how many groomsmen Lou Rotaco had at his wedding? Oh, wow, Lou, 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 eighteen. Lou, Lou, he had 18. Old Costa Rica. At it, at it. Eighteen. He had, the, he had the dishwashers. He had. <laughs> he had now I'm not saying I agree with it, but I'm just stating Mike, facts. How many? How many did you have at your wedding? How many groomsmen did you have? Well, I have four brothers, right? So I had four of my brothers and like six, five or six of my. So I had like I had like ten groomsmen, but I have four. If brothers, I had ten so groom, like, if I had between six and ten groomsmen, Mikey V would be in the mix. And by the way, Joe, I'm, I'm not – by no means am I trying to make you look bad, but I would say if I got married tomorrow, Mikey V would be on the altar for sure. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. I, I mean, no, I mean – no, my, That's no, the no, guy who doesn't have a girlfriend. You know what? I truly believe that. that. If you I asked truly me that question, that. I would say, yeah, he would. I believe that. I believe that. That's easy for Bob to say. He's not even in a relationship. That has nothing to do with it, though. That's not – that's a low blow. It's not a low blow. I'm saying he knows that I'm I'm coming to the point where, where marriage is a real thing, and, and it's – Bob's not not there yet. It's easy for him to say you'd be on the on the thing. It's I tell you this right now, Joe. Going to be very tough. Going to be very tough for me to sell a bachelor party if I'm not in that wedding party. Going to be very tough. Going to be very tough. Well, who knows if you'd be invited to the bachelor party? That's another oh, concern that's at this outrageous. point. That's outrageous. That's outrageous. We don't know anymore, Joe. That's outrageous. My, by the way, let's put it for what it is. I've met Mikey three times in my entire life. I've known life. Joe longer than Perez. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I have. How? Yes. Because it was all through the the Patreon, and we started doing the pod before the whole Bob does sports thing. And uh, let me ask you this, Joe. But Mikey V, though, I, I don't I'm, see enough. I get it, Joe. But I got two little kids. I live fact, in New Jersey. I, I'm not. I'm not. Home. I'm what not blaming. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm saying the fact that I've met you three times in my life, and you're in that high level of my friends would say that if I saw you on a regular basis, you would you would fucking stratosphere to the top. I think I should be there already. I, I really do. Joe. I really do, because I helped you out of a lot of problems, Joe. No. A lot of problems. Would, would well documented. I've yeah, had your back yeah, for a long been time now. The whole way through, and we appreciate it. It's those things are tough. The wedding things are tough no, because everybody's, no, hey, but everybody's Joe, got a feeling. Everybody's got, you know, no, it's, it's this tough. is the territory <laughs> that you're coming into. Is Perez on? I'm the just going to elope. I'm just going to elope. Is Perez on that altar? Oh, that's tough. I don't know. I got to think about these things, Bob. I got to think. I'm going to say this right now. Joe's wedding party when he gets married will be minimum. I'm just going to say minimum eight bridesmaids and eight groomsmen minimum would be what I would think. Oh, that's my initial that thought. That's not the case though. I don't know if I agree with I that. I disagree. I don't know if I'm going to do a big wedding first. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, it's hard to see. These things give me anxiety, man. I, I, it's, I, I think these oh, things, yeah, I get it. Like, these get things got to keep you up at night. I You've got guys it. who you've known probably for years and then they don't make the cut yeah. and then they got to be real salty about it. That's yeah, right. It's tough. That's Stuff. right. Stuff. Stuff. All right. Um, further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's. What are we let's doing, Bob? No, no, I feel for you, Joe. I appreciate the honesty. It's a tough sequence, man. That's. <laughs> you, the bottom line is, you both know that I would do anything for you guys, and I love you dearly. Well, you do more for me clearly than you would do for Mikey V. <laughs> it's such a piece of shit, Bob. You know what, Mikey V? Don't listen to him. He's a, such a piece of shit. You really are. You know? Why don't you get that Wi-Fi to cut out again, Bob? Maybe then we oh, won't have to answer the Don't go back to the Wi-Fi. Now. <laughs> <laughs> That's low-hanging fruit. Uh, it is low-hanging fruit. Yeah, right? come on. Oh, That's right. right for the picking. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and you know what, Joey D? I am that picker. Uh, I will pick the fruits. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, let's go into our buy or sell segment. Um, buying wedding parties. It's got to be your <laughs> 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 first. No, um, Nico, man. Buy or sell. 
Um, I'm selling. I think they used to be in. I think they're out now just because they suck, and I used to love them. I just – every time I go to them, I haven't been wowed by one in a long time. Hot bars. I think hot bars suck now. What? Whether it's Whole Foods hmm. hot bar. Um, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, like the, these community hot bars, whether it's in uh, grocery stores or whatever – it's all trash. I mean, it's never. I haven't had a good hot bar in the. Have you been to the Erewhon hot bar? I think Whole Foods has a good one still, Bob. No, no, they've lost their. It's just not good. And you know what bothers me too? They take salad bar stuff from the hot bar, and then they also sell it in containers as well. Mm. So there's no difference between what they're pumping out with that and the hot bar. And um, I just think they've kind of lost their way and. Joe, you mentioned Erewhon. I I gave to do just to do review on the on TikTok. I gave that Erewhon, um, not hot bar, but I gave one of their Caesar salads a, a review. Twenty four dollar Caesar salad. It looked Mike. I don't know if you know Erewhon. It, it's an LA thing. It's Whole Foods. It, it's, it's okay. Double the price. It really is. He's not exaggerating. It it is maybe double. The price. <laughs> it's insanity. It's insanity. <laughs> Um, I did a chicken Caesar salad from there. It's it's in the container like you get it from an airport. It, I couldn't believe that they're selling this for twenty four dollars. It's insanity. Um, but to get would back you give it, it as a rating? Oh, it was awful. I uh, I, I don't. Oh, it was bad know. too. Wasn't good. Oh no. It was so, oh, it was it was terrible. You got to see. Oh this. man. I mean, it's you could get the same thing. From like a Ralph's. It's tell you what, man. Mental. Everybody's trying to make an easy buck nowadays. I went, I'm in Canada right now, and I went to the store the other day, and I spent $30 at Shoppers Drug Mart buying different items. $30. I go to the counter. The lady says, would you like a bag? I said, yeah, of course. I need a bag to carry yeah, all my 50, items. What do they want, a dollar? Another $2 for the yeah. bag. I said, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be absolutely ashamed. What am I supposed to the level up the, the items and juggle them up through the door? What if I'm an old woman who can't? The bag get situation. The bag situation at these stores joke. is a disgrace. It's, it's a, disgrace. a joke. It's, it's a an disgrace. absolute. The fact that I got to pay another $2 to carry out the items. I just spent $30 in your store. And now you're trying to nickel and dime me to death. My grandfather didn't buy kitchen garbage bags for 40 years. He used ShopRite yellow plastic bags. He would just take like a stack of 100 every month at ShopRite. And he never purchased garbage bags ever for the kitchen. Just use ShopRite yellow uh, shopping bags, plastic. But and then, that, those, th those days are long gone, but those bags were, were the best. They were the best. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck now, though. It's like getting them, paying a mortgage to get those bags. Yeah, it's a shame. Bottom so line is, um, yeah, I'm selling selling hot bars. I, I just I, I think they've totally lost their their flair. I I just I don't like them anymore. I think they're nasty. They sit out there for a long time. Everybody's picking into them. I don't know what's changed to where when I used to love hot bars, I couldn't tell you that. But I just I'm out on them. Joey D, buy or sell? I'm selling. Um, yesterday it's a long weekend here. We had to try to get out of downtown. I'm staying in the downtown area. You want to talk about a nightmare? Trying to get outside uh, and drive around a planned parade. I'm telling you right now, I am selling parades, dude. Who the fuck goes to a parade anymore? They cause nothing but headaches. It was yeah. gridlock traffic. It was a nightmare. They had to have all these barricades up everywhere. People are sitting. Who goes? I don't. I want to ask you guys. When was the last time either of you or someone that you know went and spent three hours? Between commuting, going, and sitting there for a two hours span to watch a parade. Mikey, Mikey's answer is going to be different because he has kids. Me, it's been a long, long time. Mikey, you're I answer. have no desire. St. Patrick's Day Parade every year. If you're going to do Patrick's one, Day. Make, make, yeah. make it be that. St. Patrick's Day. I, yeah, St. Patrick's with the kids. I got no desire for it, man. I don't care. I don't need to be a part of it. It causes headaches. Traffic up the yin yang. The streets are closed. You can't get out now. It's I, a maze. I I will say this in defense. I I think he's going to get a little bit of a pushback on that cell from some people. He may, but I'll say this: when you're when it's Thanksgiving morning and you put on the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, I think probably everyone would agree. Maybe the most world renowned parade. Well, certainly in the United States, but that's like the go to parade that everyone talks about. Thanksgiving morning, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, Santa Claus at the very end of it, 
yada yada, all the high school bands, everything, the big gigantic blow up cartoons. That's that's very well documented. But I will say this. I would never, ever. You could not pay me to go to that parade and try and get a spot in the line. It's mayhem. A local parade like like I said, we do the, you know, the Nutley uh, St. Patrick's Day parade, something like that. A lot more contained, easy to do. You walk there, you walk home, easy peasy. And the only other parade I believe is acceptable, and I will go to it, is is if the Bears ever win a so, Super Bowl parades, championship. Yeah, okay, parades. I'll, I'll allow. I, I'll you got to get championship I parades are big, but every other parade, no one needs. If no one Yankees, needs. If the Yankees ever win again, which they won't, I, I would go to the. <laughs> I would go to the. But they ain't winning again. I ain't. I, I ain't gonna see it. They stink. Well, my dad the other day I said, "Dad, I hate to say it, we're never gonna get that World Series again." Now I know I sound ridiculous because of how many they've won, but I. I mean, listen, you, you're not ridiculous. Is they extended this general manager who I think is so out of touch with the way you could win games. Uh, and I, I don't think it's, I mean, I mean, they're going to win another yeah, world series eventually, awesome. but any other they, I don't see it anytime soon. I could say that. No, I don't never, see it anytime it's soon. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. It's over. It's over. It was uh, a good run. And the Jets, you think it's a bit, Joey D. It ain't a bit. Oh, Jets stop, Bob. Bob, Bob, Bob. Jets are gonna, Bob, the gonna Jets stop. are going to be fantastic. They're Jets gonna are going to be a good team, Bob. Run. And that they will find a way to fuck it up. Either Rogers gets hurt. They're going to be. An, they're going to be. If Rogers team. gets hurt, that's not them fucking it up. That's just an unfortunate thing that happens. Yeah, they'll they'll find something to do. They're going to lose the first game. I think oh, you should be. Who do they play game one? The Bills. I think it's Buffalo week one. They'll lose that. They, they're open. Listen, they're opening stretch. We talked about it on the Sportsman Joe. They're open. The yeah. Jets' opening schedule is tough. It's a tough it opening is. schedule. That being said, I still I still like the Jets a lot this year. I really do. I really do. I tell you what, I looked at the Packers schedule this week this year. It's it's an easy breezy schedule. If the Bears don't beat the Packers, the Jordan Love led Packers in Week One, I will go on a rant like you have never ever fucking seen in, in your Chicago? entire life. Yeah, games in Chicago. Okay, if yeah. They drop yeah. that. I think the Packers game, might win that game, Bob. I think so too. I think so too. Until they beat them uh, and prove it otherwise. But if the Bears drop that opener at home to the Jordan Love led Packers with all the fucking shit they did this offseason, I, I I don't even know what I'll do. I'll have a meltdown like you've never like you've never seen before, bro. Never. I'm I'm being dead serious. I'm being dead serious. It's giving me. I'm getting angry thinking about it. I'm getting it. Yeah, and Bob wants them to lose because he wants that to happen. Oh, no, you know yeah, what? You do. You're selfish. You. Bob you know will say, well, you know, I, I do, Mikey, but then let the Bears win the rest of the game the whole year. No, That's what I, he'll say. I respect that, that it's your it's your bond with your dad. It's a big thing. So I, I really do. I, I do put with the Bears. With, with that being said, when the Bears are playing bad, we say it all the time, and you see Bear Down Cubs win live, there's nothing better. Content, the context, context is never better. Yeah, it's the best thing in the world. Uh, Mikey, you by, by yourself. Uh, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to sell, um, I'm going to sell this. This is a sell I've been wanting to do for, for months and I had it written down and I finally remembered to do it today. Um, there's something that people use on maybe a daily basis. I don't know. Some people use them more than others. Some people like me have been co- become wise to them and don't use them at all. The Q-tip, the Q-tip is one of the most dangerous instruments in the house. Okay. I want everyone to, I, I'm being dead serious. People are going to think I'm joking. I have, I when, if this was about 20 years ago, I was, I was a religious user of Q-tips. Religious. I would use them every day. I thought they felt great. I thought they clean, you know, obviously they do the job. They clean it. I got an ear infection so severe from using a Q-tip that I literally was huddled over in pain for days on my bed, couldn't move. It fucked up my balance. And I went to the ear, nose and throat doctor said, you use Q-tips. I said, yeah. He goes, don't ever fucking use them ever again. Don't ever use a Q-tip ever again. Don't ever put anything inside your ear canal. And Q-tips been fucking with people for a very long time. Cause if you read on the box, they tell you, don't put it into your ear canal, but every, nobody reads that shit. They think it's meant to go in their ear. Very dangerous. My wife had an, had an issue with a Q-tip also. 
uh, almost severely damaged her hearing. So this is this is a true story. She she fell as she was going down the stairs with a Q-tip and and fucking went deaf for like a couple seconds in her ear. She was freaking out. She thought she was going to lose her hearing in her ear. Went to the ear, nose and throat doctor. Ear, nose and throat doctor was like, don't ever use a fucking Q-tip ever. Q-tips. I'm not trying to sink the Q-tip industry, but at the same time, I'm not, <laughs> not trying to sink the Q-tip industry. It's a very dangerous implement uh, instrument and, and people have to be aware of it. I'm selling it. It's it's it. Nothing good could come of using a Q-tip. They they make the water gun device. You could clean out your ears that way. You could use a towel. Uh, you know, you could wash. You could do a lot of things. Stay away from the Q-tip. That's the only word of advice I could give. I will say with the Q-tip though, it is when you do have it in there, it's kind of therapeutic. Like it's it's a good tingly. It's dangerous, Bob. Yeah, no, I, I, I look. I, I believe that. I mean, I'll you're not making these things sound like they're razor blades. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> do you yeah. use Q-tips, Sean? Toothbrush. Yeah, yeah, not Ooh. often, but some I use them once every couple of weeks. Just be I careful. Think, how, just be careful. Be careful, Joe. You get build up in your ears. You got to use something to clean it out. You clean them out. There's a way to do that. There's I wash my face. ears every, every time I'm. Mean, I wash in, in the shower, but yeah, the the build up. It's 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 a problem. No, I, it's got to be clean. I'm not saying you know walk around with, with know, um, potatoes hanging out of your ear. I'm not this, saying that. But. This, I found, <laughs> this I found very interesting, by the way, and it was funny. But then I kind of thought about it. Perez played in the uh, Wyndham Championship Pro Am. With <laughs> the guy, the guy almost <laughs> fucked around and won the whole. He's going to win one of these. But they asked all these pro players if they mm -hmm. washed their feet in the shower. It was like a bit that they did for Instagram. They asked to wash their feet in the shower, and you have nobody from the pro am there. Each player you see is all a pro player that you would recognize. And then, like a minute twenty seconds into the video, Perez pops up. <laughs> and they they asked him, do you wash your feet in the shower? And dead serious, he wasn't even trying to be funny. He said that he puts body wash, he, sp he sprinkles it on the floor, and then he puts his feet on top of the floor. <laughs> <laughs> he said life hack. He said it's life hack. Thing. Now he's got that's dangerous too because you know how fucking slippery that is. He doesn't he doesn't want to bend over like he hates tying his shoes too. Like yeah you know, yeah. It, Listen, like, tying shoes was, sucks. when we were golfing, he had to tie his shoe. He he was like, oh boy, and he like. It's <laughs> <laughs> a long I'm time. Not even think. Oh, he'll tell you the same so thing. His shoelace came out, Daddy was so pissed. <laughs> yeah, but he he he'll he'll spray. But do you guys you ever like spill a little shampoo in the shower or like gel and you step on it like how yeah. slippery it is? Like it's, it's a very, fucking it's it's I know could, you could and for him to rub back and forth without falling is it's honestly and he says it dead serious. So it's like all these pros, oh, he's serious. And then it's it's just him out of nowhere. It, it's the funniest. And one. and then he goes, he goes, I got a little life hack for you. You just sprinkle some <laughs> some. <laughs> and then you rub your feet together. If, if we could play that clip, that, I don't know if we could play that clip or not. That would be fucking. That's awesome. a good clip. Oh, I definitely watched it. When I mean, you play golf, you walk like five hours. Definitely, you have to watch it. I hope so. I hope. <laughs> uh, I wash my feet in the shower. Uh, I put a little body wash on the ground and rub on it. Life hack. Yeah. Um. All right, boys. Good podcast. We um. We are now on to our top five. Um. This is a Joey D top five. And uh, Joey D, why don't you tell the folks what we're going to be getting and who's going to be starting us off? All right. Um. Top five this week is top five actors. Um, and it doesn't need to be who's the best. Is who are your five top actors? Who do you like the best? Who does it for you? Could be old. It could be current. It could, could be, be any. a deceased actor, correct? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. sure. Okay. Why not? Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, you yeah, never know with this with, with this show. You never know what, what the well, guidelines well, are for the top five. I'm so. I'm being very okay. clear. Okay. Now I'll I'll be honest. I have no actresses. We could do another one with actresses. Yes, I I, I, I stuck to actors only. I as did well. too. Only I male did. actors. We could I do actresses. Sure. We were an equal opportunity uh, uh, podcast. Sure. We're equal opportunity podcast. That'll be next week. Yeah, I yeah. think I think too. It just gives us an opportunity to do another top five and do the actresses next. Yes, though. yes. That's why don't we? Uh, uh, why don't we start off with world-renowned moviegoer Bobby Blockbuster? <laughs> Can I be honest with you? I'm being I'm being dead honest with you. You think you have a good list? I yeah. I think he loves his list. I I don't think there's a world where my list doesn't win. Really? No. Yeah, no, I, I feel so – and the be it, it really – this is what I really feel. This, this is my top five. Um, Number five, give me Matt Damon. 
Oh, that's a good one. Come on, Mikey. I mean, Matt Damon's good, but I mean, you got to think about who's you, you got to think about all the roll. actors. Let me roll. Let me roll. Okay. Let me okay, roll. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Number five, I got Matt Damon. Okay. Number four, I got Denzel Washington. That's a great one. Great one of my all time favorites. Him and Remember the Titans. I have him in my four hole. Yeah. Goodwill Hunting or Remember the Titans are my two favorite movies of all time. Mm -hmm. um, probably give the edge to Remember the Titans. Big shout out, Denzel. Number three. A little bit of a curveball. I, I, I said you got to get somebody with comedy. Will Ferrell will go number three. Okay. Mikey doesn't like it. I'm like scared. I really am. I, I, I want. I don't think I, it's I, a bad one, Bob. It's who you. Well, like. I like Will Ferrell. You no, know, Joe. I you like really Will Ferrell. You really have my back these last like, few weeks. Yeah, he does. You really you're have. Gonna my be back. At a, you're going to be at his wedding. You're going to be on I'm the altar. I'm going to be on That's the a altar. Big start. That's and I'm going to have start. a speech. I'm going to have yeah. a co-speech. Yeah. Yep. Bears all says a line. I say a line. Bears all says a line. I say a line. Um, number three, I have Will Ferrell. Number two, see this one too. I can't lose. Number two, give me Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, okay. that's a good one. That's yeah, a I got Matthew one. McConaughey yeah. Num number two, and then number one, I got Leo. Okay, okay. So yeah, I I I, I feel great. That's about a pretty this. solid list. We have two. We have two. If bro. we had to do top ten, it, I would it would get a little. Oh uh, no, but it's top five, so you're yeah, fine. But top five. Yeah, let me tell you good. something. This is this was one of the more difficult top fives I've ever. It's done. very. I've hard. left off. I've left off some huge names. Jack Nicholson. Uh, Daniel uh, Day Lewis, I know you like him. Uh, I left Jack Nicholson off. I had to leave Robin Williams off. Like this Robin was a Williams, very, yeah. very difficult top five for me. Very difficult to make. I had to list. leave De Niro and Pacino off my list, and that's tough. Joey D, who do you want to go next? Well, let Mikey V go. It sounds like he's ready to roll. Five. I got Leo at five. I have Leo DiCaprio at oh. five. I have Denzel batting cleanup. I got Denzel at four. I think well, Denzel to me, like just some of my absolute favorite movies. Denzel and Leo. Training also. Day. Leo Training also. Day. Training Day. American Gangster. Yeah. How just about Flight. Flight was an awesome movie he's too. Just, he's, he's one of the best ever. He's one of the best ever. Number three, a deceased gentleman. I got Marlon Brando. I got Marlon Brando. At really? Three. Marlon Brando is a powerhouse streetcar Thank named you. Desire, the Godfather. Oh. I mean, come on, guys. Come on. Marlon you? Brando is. Yeah, I'll be ahead. honest with you, Mikey, and yeah, I get that this is on me. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Mikey, I swear to God, I don't know who that is. I <laughs> Number two, uh, I'm not going to address that. that. <laughs> Number I two. Where are okay. you? Okay, good, good. Number two, I got... <laughs> I got Robert De Niro at number two. I got De Niro number two, wow. Taxi, Goodfellas. I mean, this guy, this guy is as good as it's ever been in the world of acting. Heat, another great movie. And then number one is 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 the guy who Joe had mentioned. I think I've never seen a guy act the way Daniel Day Lewis, there will be blood, gangs. Oh, of yeah, I know he loves him. Daniel loves Daniel him. Day Lewis to me is the number one actor. I Lincoln. Know he loves him. Yeah. I mean he is New, just, America uh, New York uh, uh streets of New York or gangs of New York. Gangs of he New York great of there will be blood. Uh Lincoln. He's just he's he, <laughs> He's unbelievable. I got. I Daniel knew Mikey Day. V loved Daniel Day. Lewis. Daniel Day Lewis is number I, one for me, bro. I don't and know. Bob doesn't is. know who Daniel Day Lewis. is. I don't know who that is either. I okay. swear to you. Okay. I, oh, I know it's on me. I'm not making this. Bob is gonna get. I'm, I know. I, look, people aren't gonna believe that this is serious. I know. They're not gonna believe that this is serious, Joe. That's the problem we're running into. People think that this is a bit. That, that he's I bullshitting. Think, I think after they saw Bobby Blockbusters, they would know. I, I don't know who that is. No, he's being dead serious. Yeah, he's being no, dead really serious. Am. Scary. Okay. I'm looking him up now. Right. Daniel Day Lewis. He's not going to know any of the Dances movies. with Wolves. Yeah, I mean, I, know I, any I, of the I've movies. definitely seen him before. I'm shocked that that's the number one, but I can't. He's a very good actor. It's not and there, there will be blood. He was amazing. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's unbelievable. That really is. Okay. Joey Day. Right. Number five, I'm going to go with a guy who's not always like celebrated by the community, but he's an amazing actor to me. Joaquin Phoenix at number five. Good actor. His, 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 his role in the Joker was, was something else. His role in the gladiators, Commodus was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. He, he, and he was, he was also Johnny Cash walk the line. Number four, a lot of people won't agree with this one, but I, I think, 
He's so good and so funny and so memorable. Give me Joe Pesci at number four. I love Joe Pesci in Home Alone, in all of the gangster movies that he does, between Goodfellas, Casino. My Cousin Vinny was an amazing movie. Yeah, yeah. I know he's not the most popular actor, but he's just so good at what he does. He's so relatable. Give me him at number four. And number there's three, nobody, had- there's nobody who doesn't like Joe Pesci. Well, that's there's what I'm nobody saying. who doesn't like Joe Pesci, in my opinion. Number three, I got Denzel Washington. I, I don't think there's a list that exists without him. Number two, I got Leonardo DiCaprio because I think everything that he does is extraordinarily good. And at number one, man, I'm surprised neither of you included him. I got Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks to me is an that was a tough cut for me. That good was another tough cut. actor, and he is so versatile. He can play so many different roles. Tom Hanks to me is my number one big, actor. Big day for Will Ferrell. Getting the nod over Tom. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, I would say well, so. I, I, I mean it's so. it's tough. Listen, the Will Farrell is... getting the nod over Marlon Brando yeah, and Daniel yeah. <laughs> Wait to hear my honorable mention. Who's your honorable mention, Bobby? I, I would go. I Mark love... Wahlberg. No, no, no. No, it's not Marky Mark. The Rock. The Rock. Is it no. the Rock? <laughs> no. No. I, I would go with I would go with Vince Vaughn as my honorable mention. Okay. Vince Vaughn's good. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I like oh, Vince Vaughn, but like my honorable him. mention is Anthony Hopkins. Like that's he's my very good. Mention. Yeah, he's very good. Bob does not know who Anthony Hopkins is. Anthony Hopkins was in. Um, he's he's Hannibal. You don't know, Lecter. do you, Bob? He's I Hannibal Lecter, like, Bob. Yeah, I, I don't. This is this is this is. I got to talk to your dad, man. I, I I really would love to talk to your. You dad. know what he would tell you? He because I I have asked him and he watches the show. Every, he yeah. would say that I didn't have the attention span for it for movies mm. which is bad and he reminds me that that's bad but i think that's i think that's what it is i don't know who anthony hopkins is i swear to you now if i looked him up like the the daniel day lewis i've seen them for for sure but it's tough yeah no it's, it's my tough. honorable mention is jack nicholson yeah it's absolutely great. extraordinary it's great. Actor. It's great. but yep. that's the thing is this is top five which is why i said it is you could you could pick and choose so many this different actors. Tough top five. It's a this really a hard five. and anybody and I know there's going to be people in the comments who are going to be like, I uh, can't believe they uh, did. It's like you know what? It's your personal favorite. You only got five spots. That's it. Like a wedding party, you don't have a lot to choose from. That hurts. That hurts. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> Damn, dude. That That's cold blooded. That's cold. I was joking. I was joking. You know this. I'll tell you what, for not being able to have Wi-Fi for half of the morning, we turned in a, a hell of a pot. I don't think we I, I I gotta be honest. We're on it. We're on it. If we were like playing NBA jam of podcasts <laughs> right now, we'd be on fire. Yeah. We would be on fire. Yeah. <laughs> we'd be, we'd be on fire. I'm not trying to sound not. arrogant. I'm not trying to sound oh, arrogant I, I, or cocky. I'm just I'm telling it like it is. You know, Nicky what Diamonds was extraordinary yeah, today, too. Um, yes, that was big. Was that uh like if if we were in studio together? And, and we had a spot together, I, I I would be able to do three hours, uh, Joe Rogan type podcast, like where we just go for three hours every single week. It's I coming remember. soon. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. That's soon. good. So, uh, so stay tuned. Folks, we love you. We appreciate you. It's been another edition of the Brilliant Dumb Show. Joey D, Mikey V, we will see you next week. Take care.